All right, guys, how's it going? Today, we're not working on that. We're working on that. We're finally gonna do the clutch and everything in it, the rear main seal. Probably gonna pull the motor, but right now we're just gonna pull the tranny. And if I decide to do the motor, then I'll pull that out so I can do the engine bay, paint it, wire stock, shit like that. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and pull the tranny out of it and go from there. Because I really need to do the clutch. Because the rear main seal is leaking on it, so it's making a slip. And, you know, when you hit boost and that, yeah, it doesn't mix. So, we got the car up on jack stands, and then we're going to start pulling it apart. Angel's pulling wheels off it. We got, he's got the wheels off the front of it. We got it up on jack stands. We're going to go ahead and start tearing it apart. It's going to be fun. Alright guys, let me get shit going on this. Alright guys, so I got the charge pipe off, got the battery tray out, and the overflow for the coolant. Now we're gonna take the starter out, some pigtails, linkages, then pull the axles out, and then the mount on bolted and she should be out. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. And then put all the new shit in it. Hopefully it's worth it. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and get going on this some more guys. Alright, so got a few more things off. Starters out, slave is out, um some ground cables to get off, all the harnesses off. All we gotta do is linkage, axles, and then start unbolting the transmission. And then pull them out and should be good to come out. Go ahead and get going on that, guys. So you can flew it out. See how she looks and how much is in her. Drop it over a little bit. It's a pretty long fucking bolt. And there she goes. Well, don't seem like there's a lot in there, huh? Sweet. I believe this takes two quarts. And yeah. I'm not sure if it's two quarts in there. But alright guys, up on the top I got all the linkages. I got harness off, everything's off on the top. I went ahead and popped the nuts off the axles on both sides. Gonna drain the fluid. Start taking the spindle apart and everything so I can pull the axles out of it and then start unbolting everything and get ready to drop the transmission so I'm just gonna let this drain out and keep taking shit apart I don't know if I showed you guys yet but this is the clutch kit that's going in it it's just an eBay kit it's the XTD stage 3 6 puck sprung so got all the new pilot bearing or the throwout bearing clutch alignment tool um, that's it. Nothing fancy, nothing major. Just better than what I got. And we're going to be doing the rear main seal as well. And while I have this all apart, I'm actually going to replace the tie rods since I got new ones. These ones, as you can see, are just ripped. There's a little bit of plate in one of them. This one's like really stiff, and the other one's got a little play in it. So, and then I want to get to doing these ball joints soon. As you can see, they're fucked. But, like I said, this is how me and Angel are. We don't replace it on our cars because they're broken or anything. We just replace them to prevent issues. And I think that's something people should all do to their vehicles. Just maintenance on it so it lasts. Um, I, we've had the tie rods for this for a while. So, and I mean, it's got brand new axles on both sides in it already. So... I'm going to be doing upper camber kit eventually on it. I got the true hearts already in there, which I'm going to be doing the true heart camber kits. I had eBay ones for it. I don't know if you've seen it in one of my previous videos I mentioned it. But I actually sold them to somebody for like 30, 40 bucks, which is, a, I think I paid like 30 bucks more than that. But because um, I want to get the true hearts now since I got true heart coils. Um, just little things. So when the transmission's out. 
I'm gonna clean the living piss out of it to get rid of all this gunk and shit on it. Um, probably gonna do like a wire tuck or not, not sure yet. I might wait for that when I go H22 or if I, when I pull this motor out to do something else. I don't fucking know. I would like to do a wire tuck. I might do a little one just to help out the clean look. But I'm going to rewire, reline the oil feed. So, yeah, not a lot going to go on. Just like I said, going to do the clutch for main steel and those tie rods. We're going to throw on it too. So, I'm going to keep going at it. Um, yeah, I noticed I said um a lot. I'm sorry about that. But, yeah, we're going to get going on this, guys. Going to try and get that thing installed. Um, let's get it. Damn it, I said it again. I'm going to go get the rear main seal. It's somewhere back here. Oh, there it is. And this pile of junk I have everywhere. So I got the rear main seal right here. And the tie rods are over here. So, oh, yeah, everything's falling out. There we go. So, we're going to get all this shit done on the car. I am selling these wheels. Because. Race car. <laughs> and actually, there's another set of wheels I found that I want to get. So, I'm trying to sell these so I can get new wheels. And trying to get some money to go towards the vert. Trying to get it caged this month. So, yeah. Keep going at this, guys. Alright, guys. So, I'm heading down to... Um, O'Reilly's and then Ace Hardware. I'm gonna get some paint so I can paint the lip kit and all that as well. That'll be for a different video. Um, and then some degreaser to clean up the not degreaser, some brake cleaner so I can clean the transmission and all that shit. And then I gotta get it, the fluids for the transmission, so the MTF that Honda's run. So heading there now to grab all that. And then catch you guys either when we get to the parts store or back home or whatnot. I'm gonna go get all that shit. Alright guys. So I got some brake cleaner. They were on sale, so I got two of those. I got the MTF Synchro Mesh. And there's paint over there. A little update. Me and Angel have been doing some more. We got the axles out of it. Um everything up here is pretty much done other than the mount and the bolts, but there's only a few bolts. Um, got this little bracket off and the other axle out, and then the like the half shaft part, both of them. I guess one's the intermediate or some shit like that. I don't fucking know, but that's all out. And then that bracket goes right there. We got that out. So now we're just gonna start unbolting the transmission. And then we'll loosen this up and it should hold up. I shouldn't have to put a jack under it because this mount and the back mount will hold the motor. If not, it'll just slant it down a little bit so it's not a biggie. We're going to clean the living shit out of this, like I said. But, yep, we're going to go ahead and keep cracking at it, guys. Alright, guys, so pulled the distributor out. We got these bolts. And you're just getting the, the ones on the rear for the bracket. And I think there's like three bolts after that, or two bolts after that. Then we can pull them out, and the train should be ready to be dropped. Um, yeah, as soon as you're done with that, I'm gonna take this bolt off, pull the mount off, and then the whole bracket off, and then get this whole shit out of the way. Pull this bitch out. And something I just now realized. Today's Sunday. Machine shop is closed on Sundays to resurface the flywheel. So I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow to get it resurfaced to put it back together. So this is gonna end up being like a two day video, possibly three. We'll see. Which sucks. Cause this training only takes like 30, 45 minutes to pull. But it is what it is, I'm in no rush. Cause I got S10. But, yeah, we're going to keep pulling this out, guys. Focus. There we go. All right, guys, so we have a tranny sitting on our ground. This was probably by far the hardest, not the hardest, but the most annoying transmission to pull. You got to take so much shit off. And on the Accords, I don't know about on Civics, I don't think so, but on the Accord, you got to, like, drop the subframe and 
fucking everything and then like pry the fucking shit down so the tranny can come down. God damn, that's some dirty song bitch. And a bitch to do, that's for sure. So tranny's out. I'm gonna pull this clutch shit off of it. Angel's gonna move his car. We're gonna pull the tranny out here and degrease the living shit out of it, fresh wash and make it pretty and shiny. So we're gonna get to that. Back out again with this cleaning shit. We use Purple Power so much we should get sponsored by them. For real. I'm gonna clean all this shit going. And I gotta get a new sensor. That one broke. But fuck it. Alright guys, so I got the clutch off. Here's the how the flywheel looks. Don't look too bad. Um, other than this mark right here, I just noticed around the whole ring. That kind of concerns me. Uh, I'm gonna pull this off and get a better look at it. But that, I don't like that. That might have to be sh either like get it surfaced or buy a new one. We'll see. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off real quick and take it out from under here and look at it a lot better. All right, so here's the flywheel. It's got this whole like it's this groove like all the way around it. The fucking focus there. There's a groove all the way around it, like right here. You can see it. So I went to O'Reilly's to see if I get a new one, which I did. Cause it was it's like 50 bucks to resurface it and it was sixty dollars for a new one. So I said fuck it and just bought a new one. So I got a new flywheel. Therefore, this can probably be done today, maybe tomorrow. And no more slipping clutch. Gonna put that baby right there in. Clean up this fucking mess. And tomorrow, guys, hopefully I'll be picking up the motor for the vert. Um you guys will see that. I went yesterday and looked at it and I recorded it. So I'll put that clip in this video. But, um, yeah. Got a motor for this. It's just a K until the LS is built. But, got a motor for that. Full swap. It's got 180 compression across the board. So, it's a fucking, like, good motor. And then I got ISR parts coming for it. I got the in and outer tie rods and front and rear sway bars and... The rack bushing's coming for it. So all I need after that is lower control arms so I can mod them. And then the front suspension's done. I got everything for the rear suspension. So all the control arms. So all I gotta do is bolt it up. I'll be making a video on this guy soon. Just right now I'm trying to get this done so I can get out of the way so I can move the vert over a little bit. So me and Angel's here kicking it like always. Um, we were gonna make a video on it but we didn't. But we got tires put on there, or Civic, and the lineman done on it, and she's running fucking mint. The steering wheel's off a little. I guess when we did the rack, we didn't center it, so we're gonna recenter that. But eventually, <laughs> um, unless she's running fucking mint and shit, and yeah, and she looks so good. Look at that, how she looks in the camera, dude. That's how it looks in real life. What you mean in the camera? Until you get up close and you see this. Yeah, chill. It's just dirty. It's just <laughs> I know. The verge the same way. Look. Is like, <laughs> and the accord looks like shit too. Yeah, it's hey, hey, leave her alone. But yeah, we're gonna be painting the lip kit and everything, tie rods, and get it all looking pretty again. And the next few months, I'm gonna send her out to get all the body work and paint done on her. But we're gonna pop this baby on. Oh, no, actually, we're gonna do the rear main seal and then put this on and get it going, guys. Hopefully, she'll be riding today. If not, tomorrow. So we're gonna get it going. All right, guys, so this going to be the K I'm picking up for the vert. So we did a compression test on it. It's got 180 across the board. Starts up fine. Um, it's got a few little things i got to fix on it, but nothing major. So got a heart for the vert until that last is built. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get this motor pulled out and everything uh, and pick it up already in the next day or so when he gets the motor pulled. And then we'll go from there. But 
We've got motor, trans, ECU, drive shaft, cross, all the, pretty much everything, the full swap. I have an old school arrow form that I need somebody to Things are coming along for the vert, guys. I'm gonna get going on other things. We gotta go back to the shop and do some more work on the hard body. But for now, there's the motor. All right, guys. So this nightmare rear main, hey, rear main seal is done. Can't even fucking talk. She was a pain in the ass. Couldn't get it all lined about go for anything. But new seals in there. Put new RT around this, and a little bit through here. All right. Hopefully this fixes my leak. If not, and fuck it. It'll leak until I go H22 someday. So gonna go ahead and pop the new. Um, flywheel and everything on it and put the clutch kit in and then get the transmission in and bolt it up and I'll probably call it for today and then tomorrow pick up and do the rest of it we'll see all right guys so transmission is up got a few bolts in it, that many um, starters in it the bracket is almost ready to be put in it's like all lined up and stuff. But for some reason, all the fucking bolts we can't find. And we all had them like, we had them like, all right, this side of mount stuff here and like all them organized. Now they just got like mixed around. Because it's been like a week <laughs> since we pulled the tranny out of the car. And because we both work a shitload and on our days off, which is... I'm usually off like Sundays and Tuesdays and he's off Saturdays and Sundays so like we kind of want to like relax at the same time and last weekend we didn't really do anything because we just wanted to chill but yeah so that's almost done but we're calling it a fucking night it's fucking not late it's like 8 o'clock 8 30 ish it's 9:30. is it it's fucking 9.30, and the mosquitoes are fucking crazy. And he's hurting himself back there. So we're calling it a night. We're going to clean up, close up, and then tomorrow get at it. And we definitely will have it finished tomorrow for sure. I don't see why we wouldn't. Because it's literally just a few bolts, linkages, and the harness, axles, and then oh, and subframe got to be put back up. So there's not really much left to it. So... We'll do that, and then <clears throat> also going to be getting the motor for the vert tomorrow, like I said. Hopefully, if the dude hits me back up, but definitely getting a motor for it. Whether it's tomorrow or some week, I already paid for it, so <laughs> I'm getting the motor for it. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the night. So tomorrow, we'll be back here, which is a while for us, or for me and Angel and stuff. But for you guys, it will be <laughs> in a few seconds, so see you guys then. All right, guys. So, still waiting for Angel to get here. I got a few things done. Um, got bolts in the transmission. Got the slave on. Starters in. It's, um, all the harnesses here. Um, this sensor broke right here. Um, I got a new one, so I'm gonna change that out. Uh, got to do linkages and two bolts for this mount. Still, I got to lift the back of it up. So pretty much when we put the rear mount in, we'll lift it up and I can connect those two in it. This is still loose. This is still loose, so it moves. And a few grounds I got to put on. And then put the subframe up, connect the mount. And then the subframe, go. there's one bolt here that goes to here. And then these two bolts will go on the control arm. And there's two bolts right there that will go right here. So, and then axles, all that kind of shit. So, much needed, much needed love. Getting done to this thing for sure. Oh, I'm going to redo the whole exhaust probably. And we're going to do these tie rods. And I'm going to take the wastegate off. And I have another one of these flanges I'm going to fill in. Or put like a plate on or something. And just wear bolts onto here. To see if my car still acts up. If so, then... I will just say the wastegate's bad and I'll just order a new wastegate. If it's still doing the same shit, then I don't fucking know. But <laughs> we'll go from there. Really, I don't care right now. Just want to get this back together rolling so I can get that done because later today I'm supposed to be getting the motor. I'm still waiting to hear back from the guy. Um, he works nights, so 
probably be later in the day. But it's hot as shit out here. I'm sweating like hell. But this shit's going to get done. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and get this put back all together and everything and hopefully finish her up. Alright guys, so pretty much had things back together. All the mounts are on. All we got left is the linkages and the radiator hose here. But I'm leaving it off because I got to put fluid in the transmission, so I'm going to fill that up. Axes are in. Angel's just tightening up the half shaft on the back of the block. And... I mean, everything else is pretty much in, other than linkages. And then we got to put the charge pipe back on. And that's pretty much it. So, I'll go ahead and fill the transmission up. And I got... Uh, right here, the MTF for it, synchro mesh. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this in there. And hopefully she starts up and everything's good. Oh, i got to put the distributor back in it. But other than that, should be all right. So everything's on. Left the charge pipe off. It's over there. Just gonna start it up. Make sure nothing's leaking. Everything's okay. He's going in the gear, shit like that. After all that, it's good. Let it run for a little bit. Then I'll put it on. But I just want to be able to see in here. Make sure everything's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and go grab the keys and do the first start. So I'll see you guys back here in a second. Clutch pedal stiff. gears so everything's good so reverse yeah everything's good so I'm gonna go ahead and put on the ground and take it around the block all right guys so I'm driving around the block and this clutch is stiff as hell slow down because Angel already smashed into this shit I love it I don't know if you guys can hear in the camera, but this turbo sounds beautiful. done it's all packed together got the charge pipe back on clutch is really stiff but and it's a really hard pedal 
like crazy hard and like grabs really good but that's pretty much it guys we're done the accord is done for now um i don't know if my next video will be everything for the vert or painting the lip kit and all that shit and the quarter panel and getting it all decently pretty she'll never look pretty until she's fully painted but god that look right there with no bumper that looked very very good but all right guys that's gonna be it thank you for watching and like always like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you guys in the next one